Hello students, today we shall be learning on chapter 9, Introduction to Excel 2016. Students, Excel is a spreadsheet program that allows us to store, organize and analyze information. So students, before I start with the explanation, let me show you some features of Excel 2016. Here are the features. 1. Organize data in multiple worksheets in a workbook. 2. Enter data in a variety of formats such as text, numbers and formulas. 3. Edit and format data in different ways. 4. Recalculate all the formula whenever a related number or value is changed. 5. Perform automatic calculations using predefined functions. 6. Fill data automatically by using patterns in series. 7. Represent data pictorially using charts and other graphic objects. And 8. Create, maintain and analyze databases easily. So these are the features of Excel 2016. Now let's go into the text to learn in details about introduction to Excel 2016. So first, you need to click the start button. After that, click Excel 2016. Then, Excel 2016 will open and displays the start screen. And click the blank workbook template. When you click the blank workbook, the Excel 2016 main windows opens. This is the working area of an Excel 2016. So now, dear students, let's learn about components of Excel 2016 main window. Number one is title bar. As you can see, the title bar is present at the top of the Excel window. It displays the name of the current workbook and it also contains control buttons to maximize and minimize as well as it also contains close button the Excel window. Number two is quick access toolbar. As you can see, the quick access toolbar present on the top left corner of the Excel window and it provides shortcuts for commonly used commands. By default, shortcuts for save, undo and redo or repeat commands are present on it. You can customize it to add more commands. 3. Ribbon And as you can see, the ribbons are under the box and it presents below the title bar. So it contains various commands for working with a workbook. It is also divided into various tabs. My dear students, a tab contains set of commands related to a specific type of text. A tab is divided into one or more groups of commands related to a particular activity. And students, the file tab is present below the quick access toolbar and when you click it, it opens the backstage view. It also displays information about the current workbook and provides commands for various file activities such as open, save and print. It also allows us to change various settings in Excel. Students, now we will learn on worksheet area. Here, the worksheet area is present between the ribbon and the status bar and it is made up of horizontal rows and vertical columns. Okay, so this is the active cell and this is the name box. And this name box displays the address of the active cell. So, my dear students, this is all about the name box and the active cell. Now we will learn on how to create a new workbook. So, dear students, listen carefully, okay? So, to create a new workbook, first you need to click the file tab. And when you click the file tab, the backstage view will open. After that, click new. And when you click new, a list of various templates will appear on the screen. After that, you need to click the blank workbook template. And when you click the blank workbook template, a new blank workbook opens in the Excel main window. 
So this is how you will create a new workbook. Now we will learn on how to enter data in a worksheet. So to enter a data in cell directly first you need to click an empty cell and when you click an empty cell the cell becomes an active cell and gets highlighted and after that you need to type the required data then you need to press the enter key to move the cell below the active cell and to enter data in a cell using the formula bar number one click an empty cell two click in the formula bar and type the data and then three click the button to accept the data entry so these are all about entering a data in a worksheet now we will learn on how to save a workbook so to save a workbook first you need to click the file tab and when you click the file tab the backstage view will open and then after that you click save and when you click the save the click save page will appear and then you click the browse button and when you click the browse button the save as dialog box will open after that you select the location where you want to save the workbook and then enter a name for the workbook in the file name box after that at last click the save button and when you click the save button excel saves the workbook and its name will appear on the title bar so this is how you will save a workbook students now we will learn on working with worksheets so by default each workbook in excel 2016 contains one worksheet you can add new worksheets or rename the worksheets according to the content or utility worksheets that are no longer required so the worksheet currently opened in a workbook is called an active worksheet so dear students to insert a new worksheet first you need to click the tab of the worksheet before which you want to insert a new worksheet then on the home tab in the cells group click the down arrow under insert when you click the down arrow under insert a drop down list will appear after that click insert sheets and when you click insert sheets excel 2016 will insert the new worksheet dear students now we will learn on how to rename a worksheet so to rename a worksheet first you need to click the tab of the worksheet you want to rename and then on the home tab in the cells group click the down arrow under format when you click the down arrow under format a drop down list will appear after that under organize sheets click rename sheet and then when you click the rename sheet the worksheet name will appear highlighted after that type a new name for the worksheet and then press enter and when you press enter key excel assigns the new name to the worksheet dear students now we will learn on how to delete a worksheet so to delete a worksheet first you need to click the tab of the worksheet you want to delete after that on the home tab in the cells group click the down arrow under delete when you click the down arrow under delete a drop down list will appear then click delete sheets and when you click delete sheets excel displays a confirmation dialog box and then click the delete button and when you click the delete button excel removes the worksheet permanently from the workbook so dear students these are all about working with worksheets so now we will learn on how to close a workbook so to close a workbook first you need to click the file tab to open the backstage view then click close and when you click close excel will close the workbook dear students now we will learn on the last topic of this chapter that is exceeding excel 2016 
So do exit Excel first safety open workbook which you have already done and then click the close button on the title bar. When you click the close button on the title bar, the Excel window closes. So students, this is how you will exit the Excel. And with this we came to the end of the chapter Introduction to Excel 2016. I hope this video helps you understand your text more better. Stay home, stay safe and study regularly.